one more thing. I'm going to turn this over to Reverend Robert Ives. But I just suggest you all go online and read all those great entries about his life. Thank you so much. If you go online, just go into the police blotter. That's where I'm going. <laughs> This is just a great time to hear this remarkable and distinguished panel talking to us about growing up in New Harbor, Maine. Now, it's a very appropriate thing to do that because I think it was about two or three weeks ago that a magazine called Reader's Digest <laughs> declared Bristol, Maine as the best place to grow up in all of Maine. And the reason... And the reason it's such a wonderful place is because of people like these right here and all of you as well. So it's a remarkable place to truly grow up. You, they need no introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> so we're going to start with this man right here, Jack Brackett. Everyone knows Jack. He's been here his whole life. Jack started fishing with his dad, Buff Brackett, when he was a teenager. He was a lobster fisherman, a singer, a dragger a well driller, and a wonderful fire. Kay Hanna, again, Kay Sawyer Hanna, indeed, is a daughter of New Harbor, raised here. She took a little sabbatical for about 40 years and went over to some state called Vermont, where her husband Pete was a professor at UVM over there. But we're so grateful that they decided to retire and come back home to New Harbor, Maine. Brian Sora here, of course, has been a native son all his life. He started fishing when he was a teenager. He started fishing out of a Rupert Riley skiff, Rupert Riley being a great boat builder over here. Brian has been a lobster fisherman for over 60 years. And Steve Hope over here, another native son right here. Steve has been fishing pretty much his whole for over 50 years. And of course, Steve also is the harbor master of New Harbor and Back Cove and Chamberlain Long Cove and Browns Cove. So here is this wonderful gathering of individuals. So the way we're going to do it tonight is I'm going to ask them questions. They then will respond to the questions. Then you will have a crack at them and you can ask a question. This isn't like the presidential debates, but nevertheless, you can have a crack at them by asking a question also, and we're even going to invite you, if you would like, to perhaps share a story as well. Now, I would underscore this, and that is, if you share a story, let's have a short story. <laughs> So this is the, the current plan for the tower. We will be starting a capital campaign fairly soon. As you know, we're, st we're still raising money, but we haven't actually sent out a lot of letters and things like that at this point. So uh, we give thanks for the support that we get from our community here. 